idea of the patent system is to encourage innovation. But as far as free and open source software is concerned, the idea doesn't work. In fact, if anything, patents are a hindrance to innovation in the free and open source software. Successful innovators are the ones that end up being defendants against software patents. There's a kind of a mutually assured destruction. Everyone holds a lot of patents and everyone knows they're vulnerable to lawsuits by someone else in their industry. Software patents end up being a kind of a tax on innovation. The original promise of the patent system is in exchange for a full disclosure of your invention, you get a limited monopoly to make money out of it. That's a deal with society. You have to fully disclose your knowledge to get this protection. For software, it doesn't make a lot of sense because the typical runtime of a patent is 20 years, and it typically takes three to four years to get a patent. So if we're thinking product cycles in software, the three to four years is effectively two complete product cycles. So you get your patent for stuff that you've been distributing four years ago. That doesn't make sense. And then it runs for 20 years, which doesn't make sense at all. You can also have trouble when people from outside the industry that are not vulnerable to a countersuit um, can sue you, and so prominently in, in that group are our patent owners that are called trolls. The trolls don't manufacture, don't innovate directly, um, and often they don't even invent. Sometimes they even just simply go out and buy their patents from failed companies. There are now over 200,000 patents uh, in the software area that being sure of the exact boundaries of those patents is uh, not possible. With that in view, we have um, developed our own patent portfolio, which is to be used purely for defensive purposes. That is to say, we will not assert any patents in our portfolio against uh, users of free and open source software. We, along with many other companies, participated in the last Congress trying to affect patent reform. I assure you the next time it comes up we'll be there, but we're involved in all sorts of ways to improve the quality of patents, the peer to patent program in which we agreed to file patent applications and then open them up to the to world to criticize them, to say that they're not innovative or innovative enough to help the patent examiner. One of the uh, important contributions that uh, Red Hat made in terms of addressing um, patent threats in the free and open source area is uh, by being a founding member of the Open Invention Network. The OIN is um, a group founded to free the area of the Linux ecosystem through uh, purchasing patents that have to do with that ecosystem. And so far it's been extremely effective. We have uh, uh, managed to continue building that portfolio and again uh, the, the limited record of uh, litigation suggests that the word is getting out. Thank you.